everyone, it's Kia from December 7th, 555. Happy Scorpio Moon to everybody. Just have a quick energy read for the Divine Feminine. As you all know, I'm a Sagittarius Sun and I am a Scorpio rising. The Scorpio Moon today falls in my 12th house of endings. And boy, it's been an intense week. And the energy is very still. The energy is very intense and still. And surging. I hope everybody is making it okay through this first week of the Mercury Retrograde. Okay, I did have a dream last night that I will do a reading for later, but I will say that there was a lot of rain in the dream, and do you ever notice that feeling you have when you, when it just pours down raining, and you have to make it from your vehicle to your house, I mean, and it's pouring, and that feeling you have right before you try to make a dash for it. That's how I felt when I woke up. So, there's a lot of intensity right now. Um, as I was meditating um, and shuffling the decks, Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Ten of Cups kept trying to pop out. So I do feel as though with Eight of Swords, there is a lot of feeling like you can't move forward when you really can. Maybe there's some blockages going on. There is some truth that is coming that I feel, I feel is going to help a lot of you guys move forward. You're not left out in the cold. That's in your mental with the Five of Cups that was coming out because actually there is fulfillment coming. That's why the Ten of Cups kept popping out. So I'm just going to pull a few cards here. Divine Source, what can we get? What can we get for our Divine Feminine? What's going on? What's going on with this energy? Seven of cups you have options okay options and choices but during the retrograde it's time to be wise what are we choosing here use your discernment two of swords in reverse you know what you have to do, it's not really confusion now. It's really just a matter of taking the blinders off and doing what you know you have to do. You see the moon? We just came out of that new moon and we're going into the lunar eclipse. So it's time to actually do what you know you have to do and make the choice. Because Ten of Cups, it came out again. It kept trying to pop out. There is fulfillment. There is balance. And there is love and finance. I mean, complete fulfillment coming. You're holding on to something that you should be walking away from. And I believe with this, this moon energy, it's going to happen. You don't have a choice. It's happening. You're holding on to something that you know you need to move on from. Eight of Cups. Queen of Wands. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. You're the Queen of Wands. You know what you want. You don't say a word. You move forward with passion. 
You follow your intuition. You don't do a lot of talking. You don't do a lot of thinking. You know, and you have the drive and the passion to go forward. And this can be in relationships or in your career. There is something happening and you are completely ready on your throne. Your intuition is on point, it's lit. And um, it's time, Queen of Wands. <coughs> Clarify the Eight <coughs> of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles came out again. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You or someone feels as if you're left out in the cold. 